Dr. Norman Barman was once considered a baby god by some of his patients. Today, the once esteemed fertility doctor is in disgrace and faces an unprecedented class action lawsuit. It is alleged he mixed up sperm in some of the cases, and in others he used his own to help his patients conceive. The lawsuit and the fallout has left dozens of families in turmoil. I knew that Dr. Barwin was my biological father. I had already done a DNA test with him to confirm it. The lawyers that I contacted also happened to have a client who was very suspicious that Dr. Barwin was her biological father. My parents first raised the idea that my dad was not my biological father with me in March 2016. and. Once they had raised the possibility, we decided it was something that we preferred to investigate and find out for sure one way or the other. So we went ahead and uh, confirmed first by a blood test and then by a paternity test that my dad was not, uh, in fact, my biological father. Um, after that, we ended up going and meeting with the lawyers and both my dad and the lawyers raised the idea that uh, Dr. Barwin could have used his own sperm in my conception. The lawyers eventually put their client and myself in touch and sure enough we ended up being half-sisters. <laughs> Confirming my connection with Kat confirmed that uh, Dr. Barwin had used his sperm in, uh, in my conception. I was uh, horrified at first at the idea that Dr. Barwin could have done this thing and that I could be related to him uh, and it was difficult to accept. I was very upset. This completely contradicts everything that I had thought about who I was previously. It was a huge piece of myself that now someone else had inserted themselves into my life and into my story. We do look alike. It was pretty amazing to, to meet her in person. We, we had phoned and we'd Skyped and things before, so we, we knew each other fairly well by the time we finally met in person. I'm the typical little sister and so I tease her and, and we text almost every single day. We call each other at least once a week. We Skype. I now have 10 half siblings. I've met quite a few of them and sometimes we'll get together in smaller groups uh, depending on where people are located and, and how they're doing with the situation. So far of the siblings that we know about, I'm actually the youngest. Uh, so I was born in 1991. Uh, my oldest sibling was born in the 70s. Most of us have been very excited to be in contact with each other. Certainly it's overwhelming, it's upsetting for them because now they've found out this huge piece of their own genetic history that most of them had n no idea about. I was never an only child who was desperate to have other siblings, but you know, once given more people to love, I couldn't see any reason why not to love them and I was happy to there was a lot of joy involved in getting to know each other. In terms of Dr. Barwin, this has never been about uh, trying to embarrass him or cause him pain or get revenge. Uh, it's always, for me, been about, one, getting him to admit publicly that this is something that he's done, but completely separate from that and what I think is the most important out of this entire suit is the fact that there's still absolutely no regulations around not just the donor conceived community but also just fertility in Canada in general. I have no interest in meeting Barwin or and I don't particularly feel I have anything to say to him. Uh, from what I've seen he doesn't fully understand or accept responsibility for what he's done and, and understand the severity of it and so I I don't think that there would be anything productive out of communicating with him. I, I am upset <laughs> about what's happened, but without this man's actions and the decisions he's made, I wouldn't exist. It led to my existence, and for that, I'm very happy. However, when I look at the actions that he made, they're extremely unethical, and I have to question why he made those choices. I think of this entire situation, it was definitely a little bit of a silver lining to find each other.